knots can be used for, for many different things, to tie around a vessel, to seal it, to join two structures together. And depending on the type of suture that you're using, each suture is going to have anywhere between three to four, up to six or seven knots in it. And well, part of our training is to know what type of suture that is and, and how many knots it requires to have a good, strong holding ability. But the basic principle of knot tying is something that we've we've learned since we were medical students interested in surgery. So when you see a medical student over in the corner just learning this, we're putting all of this pattern so that we don't even have to think about how we're tying. There's so many different ways you can tie a knot. One way is what we call a square knot. This comes down as a perfect circle. That would be considered a square knot and that's one of the most durable knots. If you pull it here, then you can convert it into something that you can slip down. So when you see people practicing these in the background, we're having our brain lay that, that circuitry down to our hands to where we automatically are saying, I want this type of knot, and we're just able to perform it. As a surgeon, and particularly as one that's dealing with delicate tissues and babies, it's never perfect. You strive for that, but you never stop practicing.